You hear that music? No. That means it is time for Two Guys, One Podcast. You got it wrong for the 75th time. What's it called? Like everyone else. What? Two teams. Oh, two teams. One I don't know why I can't podcast. get that straight. I don't know why. It's our podcast. Why it's our I... podcast, and you keep getting it two wrong. Two teams, one podcast. Two teams, one podcast. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Of course, we are literally on the corner. Literally on the corner of we 42nd are. and 2nd in Midtown Manhattan. We're Midtown. Uh, two teams, one podcast show all about the Yanks and Mets for 2018. Mostly about the Yankees right now. <laughs> uh, only have a few games left on Picks 11, so yes. you don't want to miss them. Right, got a couple Expertly coming up Expertly produced weekend. by our friend Chris Jacobs. Let's talk about your New York Yankees. All right, every Yankee fan today is probably like this. Uh, <laughs> Yankees are fading fast, my They're friend. They're not fading fast. Let me set it up for Calm you. They're down. only two games up in the wild card down. in Oakland as of this broadcast. The savior is coming back next week. Listen, listen. The you savior, could tell me, Aaron Judge. You, you could tell me Aaron Judge is going to save this team. He is. They weren't doing all that great before Judge left on his uh, little injury hiatus. He's coming back. He's coming back. They're going to be fine. You think? I know so. Listen. Well, uh, I don't really know so, but I think so. All I can so. tell you is if they yeah. end up playing that wild card game in Oakland. I'm not scared of playing in, in Oakland. Oakland. Yeah, but you know what you have to do? You're going to have to go cross country. Okay, one game. Play the one game in Oakland. Win the game. And then come back cross country to a well-rested Boston Red Sox team. It's one game. How are they well-rested? It's I'm one game. You. No, well, no, but the Red Sox will already have been rested for three days. Look. I have faith in one person on this team besides Aaron Judge. Who? J.A. Happ. Happ. To get the job done. Is that who you're going with in yeah, the wild I'm, card? No doubt about it. Happ. I'm going with Happ. Severino, done. Done. Tanaka. Well, Tanaka pitches very well on the road. All right. So, the so road what are you going to do now, tough guy? I'm pitching Happ. You're going with Happ. I'm going with Happ. That's my guy. Jared Allen Happ. I traded for a guy who That's had hand, foot, name. and mouth disease, <laughs> and he's going to take me to the to the playoffs. All right. Well, listen, Happ. It's happening. You, listen. Uh, I like that? Let me just ask it's you a, a question. Let me give you the worst case scenario. Yes. Yankees blow the wild card lead. They go to Oakland. They lose in Oakland. What do you say about this season? Total bust. Bust. Total bust. Total bust. Right? Well, I really think the problem with the Yankees, in, in a nutshell, I'm trapped in a nutshell like Austin Powers, the problem with the Yankees is very simple. Mm. Brian Cashman did not fix the pitching staff when he had the chance. Mm, well, listen, but you did bring in Stanton, and that was supposed to get you past that seventh game of the ALCS True, but let me ask you year. the question. Would you rather have Stanton, or would you rather have... You know, a pitching staff. Like in the beginning, if you could go back to, you know, where the season started off, would you say to yourself, well, I'm going to go for pitching, I'm going to go for Stanton. What's yeah, your I don't, move? they didn't need Stanton. They had a pretty powerful lineup without Stanton. Right, so, you yeah, needed you pitching. Get, so pitching would have been the but way But then I'll, I'll take it back to the Garrett Cole trade. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the guys that's helped the Yankees throughout this whole entire season is Miguel Andujar. Andujar! The trade was Andujar in a bunch of pieces. Mm -hmm. would, you, would you have done it knowing what you know now? I don't know, and Duhar's been pretty good this year. Probably Rookie of the Year, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Get so, Miggy with it. Nah, 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 nah. It's an interesting call. Uh -huh. I don't know. What, I don't know. I mean, you, you get Garrett Cole, who's fantastic, right. and doing gangbusters for the Astros, uh -huh. or you would get Duhar, who's basically saved the Yankee season. All right. Well, listen, as you said, you know, we've been reporting all, all week that Aaron Judge been taking batting practice. Thank God he's coming Hopefully back. Hopefully he'll be Thank back God. next week. Hopefully. Uh, enough with He's looked good in the cage. A lot, lot of Aaron Judge foreplay, if you will, teasing us with the comeback. This is a PG uh, podcast. Not necessarily. Say that word. Uh, anyway, let's talk. There's an article yes. that we have here we on do? our sheet. Uh, about a Yankee fan who was fuming over the ticket exchange okay, policy. Okay, okay. What's his name? I don't know. Hammer. Hammer? Marty MC Hammer? I think it's Marty Hammer. Marty Hammer? Or Ar Army Hammer? Not Army Hammer. That's Marty the guy Hammer. That's the Oscars. Right. Wasn't Marty McFly the kid from... That's Marty McFly, yes, from yes, Back to the Future. Back to the Future. And MC Hammer, of course. You know, he's oh. dope on the floor and magic on the That's mic. That's why we pray. <laughs> pray! <laughs> Marty Hammer is upset. Because Marty Hammer had tickets to the Subway Series game and it got at rained Yankee out. Stadium. It got rained out. Yes. So apparently the Yankees' policy is in a rain out. If you don't go to the makeup game, uh -huh. you have to pick up your rescheduled tickets for whatever game you want to get. At the stadium. At the box office. Yes, which, is, which for him was a five-hour full-day excursion. Oh, it's an inconvenience for Mr. Marty Hammer. Yeah. I've had to do it, Marty, so you should have to do it. 
No? No. Why not? In this day and age, really? You go online. I'll give it I'm gonna give you something else though. You're amazing. If you go pick up your tickets at the stadium, you know when it's not gonna rain. Yeah, but go on a nice day, get some tickets to the ball game, take your family and say, hey, I, it's not raining on now. Take no your what? On. Take your family to the ball game. Your family? Family? What's a family? <laughs> What? what? What's a family? Family. Family. I said family. What, ta- what town are you from on Long Island? I said family. What's a family? Oh, it's like famine. <laughs> you don't say you don't say famine. You say famine. Oh boy. All right, listen. Let's yes. move on. Did you know that A Rod had a bet with Mark Wahlberg? I'd heard about this back when the Yankees yes. got swept by the Red Sox. Wahlberg bet A Rod that if the Yanks got swept in that series. Yes. A-Rod would have to go work at Wahlburgers, the family... The uh, first day of work A-Rod's done in his life yeah, was the, in Boston at Wahlburgers. That's the, the burger place, yes. right? They have one along. And apparently he Where went... Where they say family. He, <laughs> family. It's mo- a now playing modern family. It's family guy. Yeah, no, it's family guy. Uh, um, so A-Rod me. apparently was flipping burgers. He was washing toilets. I mean, this was some something else. Was A-Rod really washing toilets? Probably not. Was he really flipping burgers? I think he was, he was flipping burgers. What did he do? He went in there with a spatula and said, oh, here's my job for the day. Flip, I'm done. <laughs> Do you think A-Rod at home makes the omelet or does J-Lo? No, J-Lo's making the omelet. <laughs> I see. I think Garcon, the butler, is making Probably. the Probably. All right, story number two. Yes. Tuesday, well, Jacob really DeGrom. it's really segment number two. Well, I know what I'm going. This is, okay. that's a story number two. Yes. Uh, Jake DeGrom broke a record that stood since 1910. We had it on our sports cast. We did. Uh, less than three runs allowed and 26 straight starts. Okay. Uh, Mets, Who of cares? course, still lost. Do they remember, lost. Do you remember the name? He lost. Do you remember the name of the person whose record he broke? Uh, no. Leslie King Cole. The Leslie King Cole? No, not King Cole. I what do you, you think we're talking that. about? <laughs> Who cares? DeGrom lost. Yeah, he's, he eight, lost. He's, not, he's eight and nine? Mm. Who cares? Yeah, I don't know. Does he win the Cy Young? Who cares? Uh, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't that's matter. A, that's the almost like an, a disaster. Is that an empty Cy Young if you win on a losing team? Just because you had a great ERA for Look, the season? I'll say it again. The Yankees and Mets had an opportunity to make a great trade. Yeah. Would have saved both teams' seasons. All right, listen, we got about eight. Uh, it's it's We got about three minutes Eight minutes left? left? About wow, eight that's minutes a long left. podcast. Three minutes left. Wow, yeah, sure. Give me a little Sam Darnold. You and oh. I, d- Brett I'm and excited. I were watching the game. Yes, we were. Right, we, we get grabbed dinner. We're watching the Monday Night Football game. Darnold throws his first pass interception oh. for a pick six. We started laughing. I'm like, uh, same old Jets. Josh McCown, white courtesy phone. Josh McCown. Here's and the then thing. I said, but didn't Wait, I say to you, if come he back comes guy, back, if he, if he has a great game the yeah. rest of the way and they win, the interception will be a laughing. True. It'll be a laughing point, and that's exactly what they did. The guy is what the Jets need. You know what the problem is for me personally? Go ahead. Sam Darnold's what the Giants need. Yeah, you think? They need That's a mobile be a compar- quarterback. It's going to be a comparison I, I, for I the rest it at the, of the I said it draft night. Mr. G agreed with me. The Giants should have taken the quarterback, not the running back. It's going to haunt the Giants. You think? Especially that it's in the same town. Mm-hmm. It's going to haunt the Giants. Just like... Last Saturday at the U.S. Open is going to haunt Serena Williams. Oh, boy. All Let's right. talk about Miss, Ser- Miss Serena Williams. Go ahead. Let's talk about I'm a Serena. mommy. I can't. I'm not a cheater. Well, guess what, Serena? Guess what? What? She was caught cheating. No coaching on the sideline. You know Everyone's what? complaining Listen. that she's all being offended. How in the world? This poor girl finally... Wins the U.S. Open. Yeah, listen, let me let me give you my take on this. Serena, it's almost like two parts, right? Okay. What happened with her on the line, Judge, it happens with players all the time, yes, right? Yes, it does. Players throw tirades. McEnroe used to do it, so on and so forth. But I think forth. the mother excuse is ridiculous. I, whatever she was complaining about, that that's okay. I don't know why she was even I bringing, think it's, I think it's bringing ridiculous. that into it. The way the crowd, and even the, that you, the, the way they treated Naomi Osaka... On her first Despicable. win was absolutely disgusting. The crowd was booing. And I know they weren't necessarily booing her. They were booing the situation. But then the USTA official comes on, that woman who was handing everybody the money. She says, and I know she didn't even mean it this yeah, way. come on. This but is she comes out and says, not exactly the finish we were looking for. Now, I know she was looking. She meant it in a way that we weren't looking. We were looking for a finish. 
where everybody was on the leather, level, it, it, level, playing, level field. playing field. The way it came out was not exactly the finish we were we looking for. We wanted Serena there. to win. We wanted Serena to win. Now, you and I spoke about this. Osaka should have went total WWE heel, heel turn. Heel turn. And said, you know what, folks? This is exactly how it was supposed to be. I beat I beat Serena two weeks ago you in the other tournament, yes. Mm-hmm. right? Yes. And this is the way it's supposed to be. This is my night, so step off, people. And take the time. Title, spit on the ground and walk off. Do you know she would have been on every talk show? In she would have been the hit of the U.S. Open for me. But she's such a young girl and so polite. She was I apologizing. Wish. She was apologizing. Could you imagine if this happened with John McEnroe and Jimmy Connors, yeah. and McEnroe was the person who would have won the tournament? Yeah. Oh, he would have gone ballistic. And, and and she was, you know, she was apologizing for beating Serena. Well, it's ridiculous. Way to go, Naomi Osaka. You are the U.S. Open. You're champion. our champion. You're our <laughs> champion. Where the and listen, she took home three point eight million dollars. Hey, Serena didn't do so bad either. Yeah, I know for her. When you know what bothered me about Serena? Yeah. When when they gave her the mic and she says we're all gonna get through this, and I'm thinking to myself, <laughs> get, through, get through what? You just well, you just want a million eight. What am I gonna get through? I'm not getting through anything. I'm getting through the drive through at Wendy's. Yeah. By the way, we'll take free drive through. Absolutely. Of course. A little Wendy program. All right, listen, that's going to do it for this edition. Two guys, one podcast. Yeah. Uh, two, two teams. Two teams, one, one podcast. I like two guys, one podcast. Well, maybe we could call the sponsors and producers and say maybe we could change it. After baseball season. We'll and when, Le- when Le'Veon Bell returns to the studio. All right, listen, uh, yeah. baseball's back on Picks 11 Friday night. Yanks hosting the Blue Jays at 7. We've heard and that. And then the Mets face the Red Sox Saturday. Mets and oh, Red that, Sox. They're gonna help the Yankees out there. Can you imagine that? Imagine oh. the Red. Imagine the Mets helping the Yanks out oh, there. Yeah, come uh, on. And then the then the uh, the Red Sox coming to town next week. They're actually on our air one o'clock on Tuesday. That's true. Uh, you can get the full schedule on picks11.com/baseball. Mm-hmm. He's uh, Brett the Hitman Callahan. I am. I'm Scott Stanford. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye bye now. Woo-hoo!